Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, and welcome to the video for what is collision enabled. We have a few different nodes for getting and setting the set collision enabled setting. Okay, first of all, that's a little bit confusing. So let's go ahead and cover what I mean by that and how we would use them. We run our example. And we go ahead and fire at this box. You're going to see it says collision enabled querying physics. And then all of a sudden I start falling through the ground. We are getting the type of collision, printing it out, and then setting the collision after we've gotten it from the item we hit to no collision. So let's take a look at the nodes in more detail. We have four getter nodes. Get collision enabled takes in a primitive component. In this case, I'm passing in the component I hit with my line trace and returns back an enumeration of the collision types. So if we equal this out, you'll notice we have no collision, query only, physics only, and collision enabled. And those are important to note because the other nodes are specific. Is collision enabled? Any form at all, query or physics. Is physics collision enabled or is query collision enabled? And if we were to go ahead and plug these in, let's go with this one for example. Is physics collision enabled? And we'll hook this up to our print string. Let me disconnect this temporarily. We'll hit play and we'll look. And you can see yes, true, true. And on this one over here, false. We're checking to see if physics collision is enabled. And on this item over here, it's set to query only, no physics. These items are set to collision enabled query and physics. So keep that in mind. These nodes will check if it's both or individual if it matches one of these settings. Now the setter node is pretty simple. It takes in again a primitive component target. We're going to pass in the component we hit and then the new type of collision. So even though this is called set collision enabled and if you look at it and it says collision enabled, it's basically what type of collision is enabled and no collision counts as a type of collision. We set it to what we want, no collision, query, physics, or collision enabled. In this case, no collision. And we run this. We'll look at this box right here. I can push it because clearly, because collision is enabled. I'll fire at it. It says true. I'll push it again and well, nothing happens. We no longer have collision enabled on that item. Therefore, we can walk right through it. You can ignore the errors. They're just due to other settings you'll have to work on. But the point of these nodes is to figure out if collision is enabled and what type, and then set a collision like you would want it. And as you can see here, that's a good example of it. Maybe you want to have a blocking area. Once the player has completed something, you can just disable the collision and allow them to pass through it.